This is RadioFire.com. Yours truly, Dami K, in here. Thank you for joining me. Dami K Morning Show. New episodes air daily at 9 a.m. Broadcasting from the Radio Fire Studios here in Baltimore, Maryland. Today's broadcast brought to you in part by the upcoming reality show, Chase the Dream Baltimore. See a group of fresh, talented artists with personalities as strong as their rhymes navigate through life, love, and the entertainment business. Who will rise to the top while they chase the dream? Visit Facebook.com slash Chase the Dream now. The first episode for Chase the Dream will air and debut on July 17th. Uh, so self-hate, self it's, uh, it's, a, it's a strong word. And um, I think that a lot of people... Uh, multiple races, black, white, Asian, Spanish, Dominican, African, uh, you know, just deal with this intense dislike of oneself that, um, you know, causes them to, you know, do a lot of different things, uh, even prejudice against oneself, excuse me, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it can relate to the way you look, the way you sound, uh, the way that you perceive yourself to look to other people, and, and, uh, you know, this self-loathing is, um, it's, it's a sad thing, it's a sad thing. And, and we, we've seen it, I think, uh, we've seen it with Lil' Kim. Uh, we've seen it with, with, with various people. Uh, Sammy Sosa uh, is, is somebody that definitely is dealing with self-hate. And, um, you know, we've seen that he's bleached his skin in the past. But he really began trending years after uh, he's been out of the public eye uh, when his video clip aired during the 2017 ESPY Awards uh, that has his skin looking even paler than ever, th than we ever saw before. He's, he looks more pale now than ever before, which shows that he is continuing still trying to lighten his skin even more. Tammy Sosa, right? And, you know, I guess some of the younger people may not remember who he is, uh, the, the baseball great. Now, he's, he's not been without his, uh, his own controversy. Aside from this self-hate that he's dealing with, Aside from the fact that he is not proud of his skin tone, his, his original skin tone, the skin tone that he was birthed with, he felt the need to lighten his skin. So Sammy Sosa, brown, brown skin. You know, just, I, I mean, I, I think, do you, what, however you're made, that's, that's how you should be, skin tone. I mean, you want to mess with some things, okay, if, if a girl has uh, smaller breasts and she wants bigger breasts, okay, fine. You know, I mean, that's what you want to do. Don't, don't OD on it. Don't, don't do it too much. But, I mean, just, you know, something, all right, cool, whatever. Uh, but, you know, the, I mean, it's just they're out of control. The, the asses, the chest, um, I can kind of deal with those more so than I can the skin lightening because uh, that really speaks speaks to who you are. I mean, women put in fake hair, uh, take it out, change, you know, put in a contact lens, take it out, cool. All right, you can even get your breasts done and take it out, right? Uh, you can get your ass done, and, and, and some women OD on that. And when I say OD, I don't, I don't mean actual OD. I just mean do it too much. Uh, but um, uh, K. Michelle, Kim Kardashian, two that I feel have overdone it on the ass stuff, have reduced theirs, right?
But can you reduce, can you dial back once you start bleaching your skin? No, I, I, I don't see how, how you can do that. And it, it's just uh, the plastic, when you start, cr you know, reframing your, your nose, your lips, these are things that you can't dial back. If you think about all of the wild things that you may have done as a teenager or in high school, if you were stuck with these things for the rest of your life, that, that, that would be a serious thing. Um, but uh, so we see Sammy Sosa, who we already know bleaches their skin. We already, we already know that um, about him. So... You know, but to see it, when you see how much lighter he is, uh, Afro Dominican, um, has Haitian ancestry by way of his uh, parental bloodline, one of the most popular athletes in the 90s and the early 2000s. This is somebody that a lot of people looked up to, celebrated in the U.S. and at home as one of the most prolific home run hitters of all times and he and mark mcguire uh were responsible for drawing suspicion that led the league to investigate the uh, abuse of performance enhancing drugs during uh his era and um despite that controversy the seven time seven time all-star uh, he was always well loved by the public and uh, had a very positive and, and uh, fun demeanor. But that positive and fun, likable demeanor hid some very dark things. And it, it, it hid some self hate. Now, following his exit from baseball, um, you know, more personal controversies began to follow. Sammy Sosa. Uh, now he's, as I said, remembered as a brown skin, bright smile type guy. Brown. He looks pinkish white now. Uh, and he started showing up at, at public events looking like a ghost. And now it's just, I mean, now he's like a, a cartoon of himself, right? But back in 2009, he started showing up at events, um, and, and uh, he couldn't deny it. He started saying that he was putting some type of a cream on his skin. And uh, he said that it was a bleaching cream that he applied before going to bed, um, and it whitens up his skin some. Now, it appears that... <laughs> he's taken it many, many steps further. Uh, and so he says it's a cream that he has that he uses to soften his skin, but it has bleached me some. I'm not racist, he says. I live my life happily. Um, but it, it appears now that he's at least two shades lighter than he was a couple years ago. And, um, you know, definitely the Internet giving him hell for this as they should because it is it is it is just um uh it, it's it's crazy when you look at it and, and he's by far not the only person to lighten his skin but um it's 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 not a good look it's it, it's kind of uh it, it's it's kind of crazy but um uh you know i just i just encourage people to not take this route now um uh, it's just, I don't know. I mean, if, if it's something that you do for acceptance from other people, you're not going to get that acceptance. When you change your skin color like this, people are still going to look at you in a crazy way. Um, it, it's just, they're going to look at you in a crazy way. So I, I just, uh, skin lightening can definitely have some very harmful side effects. Uh, skin diseases, uh, just a, a lot. Uh, so we don't know, obviously, what he's done, whether, because it's more than just cream that he's putting on his face right now. Uh, but it, it's just huge, huge consequences uh, to abusing uh, skin lightening medications. Um, 
You know, there are some natural skin lightening options, uh, but why go? Why go through that? Why not just be happy with the way you are? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Dominic Hayes Show, at Radio on Fire. If you're somebody who uh, has not liked the way your skin looked, if you're somebody who's not felt comfortable literally in your own skin, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, as I said, at the Dominic Hayes Show, um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, DJ Dominic at gmail.com. Uh, let your voice be heard at the 2017 Baltimore Music Awards. Nominations are now being accepted in all categories. Every Baltimore artist, DJ, radio show host, radio station is eligible. Visit BaltimoreMusicAwards.com to get started. Uh, there's an order form uh, that you just need to fill out. Click vote. Click whatever you want to click on the site. You see it on the home page or you can click vote to access that. Uh, you need to do that before October the 9th. That's when the nomination period will end. We will announce the finalists. The top three people in every category uh, will become the finalists. And we will make that announcement right here on the Dami K Morning Show, October the 11th, and also on BaltimoreMusicAwards.com.